Hello and welcome back. In the following, I will show what you should pay attention to when checking search results and will propose one way to work with them. Let's illustrate this with the irregular verb get. Its past tense and its past participle form is got. To get an overview of how frequently the past participle form is used, you might simply type got into the search window and attach the POS tag for past participle forms to limit the hits to exactly this form and avoid getting hits for the past tense. Click on Find Matching Strings to start the COCA query. Tagged as a past participle form, got appears more than 400,000 times in the COCA, but are all hits the ones we are looking for? Let's check the context. Scrolling down a bit, we can already see that the first 100 hits are from blog entries from 2012, so this is clearly not a very representative sample for the COCA as a whole. Furthermore, there are hits for GOT as a past participle form, and there are also quite a few false positive hits, where GOT appears as the past tense form of GET. These hits were tagged incorrectly, probably because the past tense and the past participle form of GET are the same, and the tagging algorithm has some difficulty distinguishing between the two. Thus, not all of the hits returned by the query are actually GOT in the past participle form. To find out the real frequency of this form, we would have to manually deduct the amount of false positive hits from the total number of hits. Doing this would be quite tedious, but we can also take a different approach. By clicking on the 100 next to find sample on the context page, we generate a representative sample of got tagged as a past participle form. We then manually go through these 100 results, keeping those that are actually past participle forms of got and leaving out those that are merely false positive hits. An exemplary analysis of the first 10 hits shows that the first four sentences exhibit got as a past participle form. The fifth does not. The sixth and seventh are also correctly tagged while the eighth is not. The ninth and tenth hit are again examples of hits showing got at a past participle form. And if we do the same for the rest of the 100 sample sentences, we will find that 84 of them are indeed correctly tagged occurrences of got as a past participle form. However, there are 16 false hits, so there is an error rate of 16%. This means that of the 400,000 original hits, about 340,000 correctly display GOT as the past participle form. So as you can see it is always advisable to not only look at the numbers, but to keep a critical eye on the corpus outcome as well, and check the context in which the results appear. So much for checking search results. See you again soon.